Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Cody Brown wants a second chance with one divorced wife in Sister Wives. The actor of Sister Wives reveals he wants to restart one relationship that ended lately. In a recent conversation with P.U. Pol, it was revealed that Cody Brown is still committed to at least two of his four marriages. In the exclusive interview, Brown discussed the forthcoming season and his wives, Christine, Janelle, and Mary Brown's departure with the publication. Additionally, he explained how he still believes that at least one of his past spouses is amenable to reconciliation. I'm still trying to make amends with Janelle. I won't claim that she has been ambivalent about leaving, says Brown, but I'm always telling myself, this isn't a reason for us to split up. We are able to resolve this. If we just put in the effort, we can rebuild trust and negotiate a deal based on it. The tone used here is very different from that used in the last season promo and on the TLC series, even more bluntly addressing her ex-boyfriend Few as he slams the door shut. Janelle Brown swears at him. I have to find a new normal with Janelle because even if Janelle and I reconcile our marriage, it's still going to be a new normal because it's going to be different from where we've been before, Brown said. Because it didn't appear to be working quite properly for us in the way that it was. It was incomplete. Christine Brown, who was once Janelle's sister-in-law and the two remain friends, and Janelle attributes her own courage to leaving Cody to Christine Brown's decision to do so. Following years of whispers that she was always ready to leave, Mary Brown likewise felt the time had come to part ways. She ultimately became the third wife to leave, putting Robin Brown and Cody Brown in a difficult situation. Any effort I would ever think in that direction would need to be put into my relationship with Janelle and certainly my relationship with Robin to maintain that relationship as well, adds Brown, who also clarifies that he is not seeking a new bride to expand the family. Robin Brown made it plain that she wanted to get back into a multiple marriage with Brown since she was uncomfortable being a single wife. Janelle Brown doesn't share her ex-husband's feelings, and she is unlikely to jump back into the marriage. Brown told PUPL, I don't have any regrets, adding that her choice to quit had made it possible for her to follow her present course. We're all getting used to the new course, and the future is full of opportunities. Cody from Sister Wives thinks back on the dysfunctional first 20 years of his family as his world collapses. In the season 18 premiere on Sunday, Cody Brown and the four matriarchs of the Brown family discuss the continued discord as things remain strained. The Brown family on Sister Wives has had its fair share of issues over the years, so the drama that followed Christine Brown's departure just served to heighten the already existing tension, which has been on everyone's minds. The TLC patriarch spoke up about how things were going in the season 18 premiere on Sunday, which was recorded before Cody Brown unexpectedly became monogamous after divorcing three of his four marriages in less than a year. The family situation is difficult. In a way, it resembles the American Civil War. In a candid interview, Cody, 54, said, I don't even know how to describe it. Cody investigated the changing relationships between his four wives. Cody said he'd had infrequent interactions with his first wife, Mary Brown, 52, adding that it had been months before his third wife, Christine, 51, filed for divorce. He was also pretty strained with his second wife, Janelle Brown, 54, and couldn't figure this out due to his upset state of mind. He said, the family's not talking. Cody went on to say that Christine chose to leave and that Janelle was choosing Christine as somebody she wants to be close to rather than Mary or Robin, or even me. In the Sunday premiere, discussions regarding the current state of the family extended beyond Cody. When asked about her own ongoing issues with Cody, Janelle said she thought their relationship had been even more strained since she moved into an RV. I envisioned this epic journey for us. I didn't think it would be so difficult. She confessed in a private setting. I think Cody actually became discouraged very fast when it wasn't all comfy, simple, and fun. It was also quite simple to assign blame. When Christine dropped by Janelle's apartment in Flagstaff, Arizona, they continued their conversation about the strain in the family. Because of Cody's distance from her sons, Janelle admitted during their conversation that she didn't intend to spend time with the extended family over the holidays. 
The ex-couple's kid had previously argued about their opposing viewpoints on COVID-19 security and Cody's general negligence. Cody still feels that the boy should talk to him or something whatever. So we're apart, Janelle informed Christine in front of her 18-year-old daughter Savannah. For being disrespectful, Cody feels like they owe him a big apology, some conversation, and stuff. According to Janelle, she was worried just because Cody's in such a place where he just is like, I'm tired of doing all the work to hold the family together. In contrast, Janelle stated, I feel like as a husband in a plural family, that's kind of your responsibility. During a meeting, Mary and Robin, 44, also talked about the difficult family situation. Robin wondered if the solid familial unit she entered into had really been real given how everything has fallen apart since the outbreak. In a confessional, Robin maintained the notion and said that she'd have been struggling with depression over it. Although the problems had been amplified by COVID, in Mary's opinion, they had always been present. We weren't a perfect family when Robin entered the picture, but we were a really decent family, Mary admitted in a confessional. I believe that people are analyzing it retrospectively, and if she thought we were flawless, then we are all excellent performers or she is deaf. I'm not sure, Mary said, and I don't say that to be impolite. Although we weren't flawless, we were nonetheless good. Particularly the animosity between Cody and Christine made Robin doubt the reality she had previously known. Robin observed the Browns as operating as one family. But in confessionals, Cody, Janelle, and Christine each offered their different perspectives on the predicament. Our family's first 20 years were really problematic, Cody admitted, and I believe that we had a totally different mindset about it because we wanted to be effective. Because of how hard we were working, we thought we were functioning, but we weren't. Once Robin joined the family, there was a shakeup, according to Janelle, and things never really settled again. Christine also stated that after she entered the scene, the formerly inclusive family unit became very, very separate, even though she wasn't accusing Robin of anything. Then Robin said to Mary, this thing that I thought we can figure out, you know, this kind of end goal, just got taken away, in reference to Christine leaving. She also added that since Cody was having a hard time dealing with his family's decline, the women needed to pick up the baton for him. Christine and Cody had lunch together near the end of the episode to talk about what they would do with their kids for the holidays. And despite Christine's initial desire for an amiable divorce, Cody claimed he nonetheless felt betrayed by Christine. He admitted to the cameras, I kind of feel like in my heart, I just never want to see her again, and I want to resent her for a while. When Cody and Christine started talking about COVID safety and Cody's own experience with the sickness, which Christine joked at, their initially cordial conversation took a turn for the worse. Oh, I'm not amusing myself. I'm not making a joke here. With her departure, I didn't laugh. I've never laughed about this before, he admitted in a private moment. I wasn't laughing when she asked me to quit staying in her house. I wasn't laughing at the time as she put my belongings into the garage. I wasn't laughing when she went with our daughter, truly, and she left early. I've never laughed at this before. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.